This is a book review of The Silver Age Supergirl, Omnibus Volume 1. There is a Volume 2, and there's the back. Obviously, I've taken the actual book out, as you can see there. And there's the back. Now, this includes the Action Comics 252 to 307. Nothing else, so includes those. And it's all the stories are all set in Midvale, the orphanage with Linda Lee. Of course, later, Linda Danvers. So you've got Kara Zarel, Supergirl. Of course, she comes to Earth, and there's Superman. And there's obviously stories. Superman doesn't appear a lot, but he appears a bit in these books. So the artists here are, and writers. So you've got Jerry Siegel, Jim Mooney, Otto Binder, uh, Leo Dorfman, and others, Carl Bastino, etc. So just going to... Now, the book came out in 2016, and it's approximately about 685, 680 pages. There's no bonus material, one sort of mini bonus page right at the front. And it's, you can see the, there, but it's all in colour. And so 2016 from DC Comics, and there's the thing. But there's a lot of stories. So there's a lot of stories in this. So you've got, uh, they're all about eight pages at most, all the stories. And you've got a variety of ones. So you've got the Supergirl Tomorrow, the Six Red K Perils of Supergirl, the Strange Bodies of Supergirl, the World's Greatest Heroine, the Death of Luther, obviously not, the Man Who Made Supergirl Cry, Superman's Super Courtship, Supergirl's Super Boyfriends, and so on, the Secret Identity of Super Horse. And of course, you've got Super Horse, you've got uh, Streaky the Supercats as well. So you've got the Fantastic Secret of Super Baby, the Maid of Doom, Got in forward, which is quite nice. Actually, quite a rarity, I think. With uh, let's see, you've got uh, that. Now I'm just going to open up the book. Now I don't like the spines of these books. I have to say, and it's uh, it's glued. Now it's not brilliant. Cracks badly. You have to open them in a particular way. These omnibus editions. Uh, of course, you've got Brainiac there, Legion of Superheroes. Great story. There's a few bits of the Legion in here. You've got uh, Streaky and Cry Crypto. And you've got, obviously, Lex Luthor turns up as well in the stories. So you've got a variety of different characters. Also, you've got uh, Linda initially in an orphanage. So you've got stories where you've got characters suddenly thinking, oh, is that, uh, is Linda Supergirl? And do all contrive stories to try and find out her identity. And I'm not certain why they just didn't take photographs. That would have been easier. Just take a photograph of one and take a photograph and you could see. And also she's constantly trying to find obviously some parents so uh, and it's and got a story there lovely one with an elephant and a gorilla you can't beat that sort of story and streaky as well streaky is a great character i really really love streaky now i'm surprised they didn't introduce super elephant and super giraffe and super all the other characters i'm certain they were probably thinking about that at some point You've got also boyfriends. You've got a variety of friends. You've got this great boyfriend who's basically like Aqua Boy. You've got here, Jero. So there's a story there. Great bit of uh, the sea there. They're great stories. And I really thoroughly enjoy all these stories. They are they're really fun stories. You've got here, like uh, General Washington turns up in the storyline sort of thing. So it's all good stuff. And you've got other very silly stories. You've got lots of stories where she loses her power or she ends up with kryptonite and she ends up uh, being duplicated or she ends up being transferred off to whatever. There's a whole loads of different weird ones. You've got Lex Luthor plotting away. It doesn't appear too much in the storyline, but you've got Lex Luthor. You've got Les La. Les La La. Les La La. Unusual name. So you've got that story there. And you've got a great one here. This is the, at last, by popular demand. Because eventually, of course, she does uh, get, I say, some got her parents. But uh, there's also where she can actually finally come out. Because before, Superman, for some weird reason, put a thing on her that you, she can't go out. She had to do everything sort of in very contrived in secret. And then you've got uh, the classic. See, one way she comes out. Quite a lovely little story. And there's some really nice stories in there. There's some, I say, very repetitive stories, I think, when you go through this. You've got some stories here where she goes back in time. You've got Helen of Troy. 
which is a quite a nice little story as well. And you've got also, of course, like this lovely, this horse, Byron. So you've got character there. However, minor criticisms along with the spine, of course, with all of these DC omnibus ones, is that uh, sometimes the artwork is slightly rough, I would have to say. Not all. Some of the pages are absolutely fine you look at it, but there's quite a bit when you go through it, really close up and look at it. It's not as sharp as it could be. I don't know how they did the... I mean, quite a lot of it is fine. I mean, it doesn't, there's nothing that I think, oh my God, that's terrible. I've actually had some DC ones where sometimes the covers, seems to be mainly covers. I don't know why, but the covers are terrible in these omnibus editions. There's nothing that really bad in here. But it's there's still an occasional bit where you think, hmm, that's a bit coarser than the, the page earlier. So... But other, other than that, I think the stories are just great. And I just, it's got this Silver Age fun. If you love Silver Age. Now, the stories very rarely went, there was a few that went like two or three stories. And, of course, they were only eight pages at most. So basically, not much more than an average comic. But the stories were very compressed. So you had a lot of story, even though most of them are fairly basic stories. You got I love this one. This is one where she's, uh, there's some, Filming, Jill. and that's a real great story. Again, you've got the super horse story. And, of course, you've got all the various evil characters as well, all the way through it. But I just think this is generally a lovely book, and I'm just going to go to the back, and you have got uh, a little biographies of the various people. Sadly, whenever you read the worst thing about all these biographies in the back of these books is quite often it says, Mooney died March 30th, 2008. Obviously, uh, there's another one here. Now, hmm. now Leo Dorfman doesn't sound like he's died, which is great. Otto Binder, of course, died in 1974. Obviously, Siegel, 1996. But she always, always seems to be someone's died. But, of course, that's the case with these Silver Age ones. Of course, these were in the 60s. Sort of, it's a long time ago. These were all uh, 50, 50, 60, 60 years ago. So... But the stories still hold up really well. So uh, I would say it's a great book, thoroughly enjoyable. I'd say if you love Streaky, good old that's one, Battle of the Super Pets. You wouldn't get that kind of story now. Who would buy that kind of story? <laughs> probably very few people. You probably see it in the shop and you go, blimey, Battle of the Super Pets. I don't think so. But of course, you had all the funny animal stories back in the uh, 50s and early 60s. They still existed. Very few funny animal stories now. So uh, I think I said, just, it's just a pity about the spine. And I'd have to say the, the glue is just, I, suspect, I think some people probably even re glue it, maybe. I don't know. But I wish they would have done better than this. But still, an absolutely brilliant book. And put the, uh, the cover back quickly there. So The Silver Age Supergirl. Omnibus, Volume 1, totally recommended. I think there's a few minor issues, I think, with it. But uh, great book. And as I say, Volume 2 is pretty amazing as well. I love those stories. And I really hope they bring out uh, a Volume 3 at some point. There's some obviously great stories to come. Uh, I've got quite a few of the comics. So uh, but it would be nice to get them in uh, Omnibus Edition. 